Lehman. Might have some money on the bar afterwards. I'm only joking about that part, but you get the idea. A serious jump by a number of our work competitors. So there we go, Matt Spinner that time to pro to get away. There we go, man of our class. Taking a good break with them uh, through the centre that time, so uh, good to see down there. Of course, the man of our class, uh, Pro Twins Race Team, absolutely awesome to watch. And the uh, key to look for the split lineup, of course, what we call a split, is the fact that we'll uh, also have our uh, second group with the Smash Panels 1 2 5. So, 8 15 of Rogan Chandra on the inside. Uh, Rogan last time said, But you didn't do an interview with us. And I said, Well, because you weren't standing here by the podium, oh, we were told to be on our bikes. Well, nobody else was, so uh, whatever you were told was uh, correct, correct. So, please make sure you come up to the podium. So, our promise is to have an interview with the Rogan Chandler. Well, well, let's hope in fact he deserves it. He's got to get there. Hey, he's, he's done the Sloan Frost. He's won the previous two races and looking good for the uh, third. But, in film, it's all got to happen yet. And a reminder, of course, of the uh, Warren Guy Memorial Trophy up for grabs. And uh, not that you and I are the judges, uh, spider of the uh, Warren Guy, but, uh, hey, um, some uh, some names in there at the moment. Maybe, is that a Paul uh, Jamison, a Chris Ken? Yeah, maybe uh, some of those. Oh, Daniel Harris. I think there'll be three of the contenders that I would quickly uh, put into it, but I won't be the judge of that. We'll let some uh, po uh, people more uh, astute than me in the... 125 racing judge that one. Courtesy of the Smash Palace, uh, we're away and flying with the 125s. We're back to the front of the field, so two races within the same class, pit class, electronic results you can see there uh, show the difference. And if you've got your program, you'll be able to keep up to date with them. So uh, nice to see our Dan Ormsby Motorcycle Training Pro Twin lineup with the Man About Glass race team uh, doing it all. Man About Glass, of course, your glazing uh, experts right here in Canterbury. Uh, is it balustrade? Is it shower doors? Is it going to be a, a doggy door inside the other door or a cat door? You name it, you can do it. It's all glass. Of course, in this day and age, and a day like today is a good example where you can keep out of the wind with some beautiful areas. So you put up a glass area, you might have a porchway, and you just cut across the end of the uh, house, and you've got the prevailing southerly, the coldest of the wind. You just put up a couple of uh, glass barriers, you keep the uh, southerly away, you make it well protected, it absorbs the sun and makes it a nice warm area. So think about glass as a more uh, uh, exclusive and uh, better means of uh, construction. So check it out with Man About Glass, you glazing requirement experts right here in Canterbury. So Man About Glass, keen to get him behind racing as he has for this event in the past and certainly now this awesome two-man team. And remembering they're tied on points, these two, the first race it was the champion of Dallas Charlotte over uh, Bailey Perriton. But of course, uh, in that last race, believe it or not, it was Bailey Perriton that got it back on Dennis. Now, unfortunately for uh, Rob Whittle, he's had uh, two non-finishes, two non-finishes. So that's a bit of bad luck, but I see he has made the start line again. So the Raglan man on the NTB Racing Metsa Tire Motul, um, a Moto TT track days, uh, Raglan roast and coffee, and uh, Everstands New Zealand uh, gets uh, plenty of good support, but he hasn't yet got a finish. And that's a major setback, because, of course, now he's 47 points behind Bailey and uh, now Dennis, so he's got a lot of racing to do out on the racetrack. So here we are with our uh, Pro Twins. They're out in front of us here at the moment, coming around towards the uh, Dunlop Dipper. Then we've got our 125s over on the back group. The 125s at the moment are in the hands of the uh, 21 of uh, Daniel Harris. So uh, good work by uh, Daniel out there, along with Rogan Chandler, Chris Kane, along with Chris White and Chris uh, Wallinger. Then we go to Ashley Well, and now Ashley got up on the podium last time, so to see him back in around the sixth place with that group of 125s, he's got some work to do. So we'll be keen to watch out. Hey, Kiwi Motorcycle Company, remembering dirt bikes, road bikes, complete rear bikes, ready for race preparation. The great feature is open from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. 18 years of quality experience and a great smile and a fantastic attitude. You'll love Daniel and the team. So check it out, uh, Kiwi Motorcycle Company. Uh, proud to be stockers of Pirelli and uh, Elf. They're at home at Moats Road at Lowburn and they're on Kiwi MC at extra.co.nz. Spider Stables, well done for getting uh, Steve to do the interviews. Of course, the first few words, well, they were a bit of a stutter, then he was just right at home. So we've he just wanted to talk to his wife, and then I says, no, you've got the microphone, you go on there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's done something I haven't done all day, and probably you, Neil Richie, you got a kiss from one of the competitors. Oh, no, definitely, no, I, I can put my head up and say I haven't. So, uh, looking out on the track at the moment, oh, we have a request Jacob Trout. We did ask Jacob to go and ask uh, his dad what happened in the Superbike race. We did ask Jacob, we are getting requests in online, is Jacob back? So please, Jacob, or even one of the other family members, if you could come up and tell us what happened to Andrew Stroud in that race where he went right back to 15th place and fought his way back up there. We just like to keep the uh, commentary what's uh, happening on the track. We like to pick him up for that, but also what's happening off the track or what's happening with incidents as well. A massive effort out there for the four 
approach wins out in the front. It is still the two uh, men about class bikes out in the front there. Dennis Charlotte leading Bailey Perriton with Rob Whittle 74 in third place, but the fastest man on the track at the moment are 39.511, Ben Rosendale. So a massive battle there. They're just coming out of the dipper. They're coming into the Rock FM sweeper. Eight laps to go. Let's go down into the 125 class. You're talking, Neil Ritchie, about Ashley Weller. You've got a lot of work to do. The man's a logger. He weighs 104 kilos. Yeah. 104 kilos. So to get a second in the last race yeah. on the bikes, it is so hard to push around. And the weight differential makes so much difference. That's uh, incredible. Rogan Chandler leading that class at the moment. Uh, uh, disappeared by a country mile yesterday. Had a pit lane start uh, this morning and managed to get through back up there. But uh, not having it all his own way. There's probably six bike lengths as they come out of the dipper. There's a battle going on for second place. It is Rogan Chandler, Chris Kane, Chris White and Ashley Well. Another man that's having a little bit of a tough weekend, Dean Bentley, he says he's just about second to last, almost last in the uh, in the Pro Twins. I said, what's happening? He says, I'm going as fast as last year, but everyone else has got faster and faster. So Dean Bentley still enjoying his weekend. He would like to be further up there. And thanks very much to the wife, Nikki Bentley, for making us uh, lunch and bringing up to the commentator's box as well, Neil Ritchie. And in fact, uh, keen to pick up because now we've seen the number 15 of Rogan Chandler, the upper hunt rider on the TSS Red Baron, the lower hunt to Moto Mail diamond design uh, got speed medium up a dead supported rider has gone into the lead so but hey good credit there because uh, for uh, uh, three laps we'd uh, seen a great performance by the number 21 of uh, Christchurch's Daniel Harris and holding on there on the uh, Dunlop Elf race supplies www.mid.co.nz uh, which by the way is motorcycle imports direct and Steve Ward Racing had a quick chat to Steve, always an honour to have him, of course, lap record holder since 2003, one of the longest lap records that's in place here at uh, um, the Mike Perry Motorsport Park, so uh, full credit to Steve, but uh, hey, he found out just a few weeks ago there was only going to be three in the 125s, there's no way 125s can go, so uh, therefore let's do our best to get some more bikes out on the racetrack. He's actually working on six different bikes, you heard it, he's working on six bikes, he owns some of them, he's leasing some of them, he's borrowing some of them. What it is, though, is unfortunately he can't remember everything. And he had one of his bikes where he forgot to put the gearbox oil in. And it was able to last a number of laps uh, until things went wrong. And then all of a sudden it was, oh, hello, there's the bike not changing gears. They brought it in, broke the gearbox down. He was able to uh, change two gears within the gearbox and get it back out. There was no other damage. And the same gearbox has now continued to race. So an incredible story of a man who has missed the 125 racing in New Zealand. A uh, meticulous uh, gentleman of our 125 domain. And if there was uh, everybody in our uh, motorcycle sport was the gentleman that Steve Ward is, what a sport we would be. A, from the point of view of being the gentleman uh, competitor he was at a day and still a lap record holder. More in fact, to how much he's put back into racing and dedicated to 125. He has a pocket uh, in himself of probably uh, a 75 to uh, 78 kg uh, kind of man. Uh, uh, small in stature, but uh, still a demon off the track and on the track as we uh, go through them. So great work out there, Spider. Oh, great move there. I've been watching these four pro twins there's not a bike length between them most of the races uh, we've now seen Bailey Perriton go up on the inside of Dennis Charlotte going into the Christchurch Casino Carousel that's Woo! the first time I've actually said it well this weekend the Christchurch Casino Carousel so De Bailey Perriton has gone into the front but Dennis Charlotte's half a bike wheel in behind both on man about glass bikes and uh, Rob Whittle the 74 machine on the uh, Aprilia he's turned a 139 394 so he's the fastest man on the track he's lying in third place with the current New Zealand 650 Pro Twin Champion at Ben Rosendale sitting there in fourth place on the track. These bikes are broken away. Uh, the four of them coming onto the front straight. Then there's a gap back to Carl Massimo and Nathan Jane for fifth and six. Slipstreaming side to side across the start finish line. Seven thousandths of a second. It was Bailey Perriton. I didn't quite catch who went in the first corner. I think, in fact, it is Dennis yes, Charlotte. It is Dennis. Seven thousandths of a second. There's two bike lengths between first and second. The same distance back to Rob Woodall, the 74 man who's done a lot in his world. Only some up motorcycle racing late in his life got his ass into gear and went to the Isle of Man GP this year and raced that and have a good talk to Rob Whittle about his experience at the uh, at the Isle of Man TT over towards the hip and Bailey Perriton takes a big dive up on the inside shuts it in tight, this is one of the hardest corners to pass on but he makes it stick and he's gone back in the lead over and above uh, the man about glass uh, machine of Dennis Charlotte, two man about glass bikes, bright blue bikes, absolutely spectacular to see them on the track, Rob Whittle still sitting there and he's three bikes here comes Dennis Charlotte trying where Dennis, uh, Bailey Perry
Perriton passed on the last lap, but uh, Bailey shuts the door on that. You can't even see two bikes here in the lead there. They come along into this very, very tight uh, right hand on the um, the original circuit here in Rotorua and just had four quarters. Where are they going to was one in, that's turn two. They went off the end of the start, finished straight with a hairpin. That was turn two. This was turn three. Where are they going to? They went straight ahead to the big sweeper. The dipper wasn't there, so that was the original circuit from the 1970s. They put the dipper in, and then in about 1995, they extended it and put another eight or nine corners. So that's some of the history of Ruafuna, but uh, out there on the track. Dennis uh, Bailey Perriton's the fastest man on the track of that last lap, a 139.329. We saw a seven thousandth of a second gap over the last lap. Now, it's all about slipstreaming here. Here comes Dennis Shaw on the side, seven thousandth of a second. He has opened that up to uh, 17 thousandths of a second. <laughs> Oh, mate, action of plenty. They go into turn one. And Bailey Perriton cries up on the outside. Can he run around the outside? Wow, that's an amazing move. Remember, there's not much power in these motorcycles compared with some of the super bikes or the bigger bikes. He's gone back into the lead. The uh, young man, originally from Ashburton, but now living down at Actually, I think he lives out the boot of his car, for according to his parents. But uh, certainly a demon on the racetrack. And it's good to see him come back with a bit of confidence. He uh, lost a lot of confidence last year when he got onto the 600 and had two or three crashes that didn't like. Runs a little bit wide in the head. Effort. and Dennis Charlotte doesn't need the opportunity to strike straight up on the inside. Now Bailey Perriton is under threat by number 74, Robert Whittle. Don't forget in fourth place, Ben Rosendale. He carries the number one plate in the uh, Pro Twins for what, no other reason than he was not New Zealand champion last year. So don't put him out of the picture in this race. Tight, tight racing towards the end of the day here at Ruapuna, Neil Ritchie. And look out for Chris Kane because I'll be looking at the 125s while you've been getting a quality update there from Spider and our uh, Pro Twin line. A Pro Twin, exactly as the name suggests, Twin cylinder motorcycles, and these are limited to the 650. So the Pro Twin, of course, uh, is the that's the 650. Whereas you've got Rob Whittle, he's got the uh, 550. That's the Aprilia bike. Now the Aprilia um, SXV, of course, is actually an off-road bike. It comes out as a, uh, a moto uh, chassis uh, enduro uh, machine. Slight difference in the model here. So these are actually a completely modified motocross bike, but it's not in motard form. It's actually been turned into a road race bike, and that's been the difference. But it is more lightweight. It is more streamlined. It is more dedicated to racing. So he might be. 100 cc's but he's got a lighter weight bike than the boys in front of him so something to gain up and he's now done more laps than he's ever done before hold together Aprilia please he's had some mechanical problems hold it together Rob we want to see your quality up and amongst these other guys so great to watch and amongst our uh, racing so uh, there it is of course with our uh, Pro Twins lineup C courtesy of Dan Ormsby Racing but that 125 and watching out of course for the 66 of Chris Kane just fantastic to see uh, what Chris has been uh, doing out there but all of a sudden just when it comes to making it sticky season drop back a little bit at the moment, but I tell you what all the Rogan Chandler show at this stage is they duck down through the dipper, look at that coming right underneath it, you see the size of it, because it is exactly a dipper, they've actually dug that corner out, they've used the dirt that they dug out to put on the outside, so it actually has uh, one of the steepest cambers, is probably, uh, you might say, yeah, there's a reasonable camber at Hempton Downs, it used to be at Pukki Curry, less racing done there now, what about Manfield and Higgins, that's got a nice camber to it, but right in that dipper, it's quite a nice little camber, and it's a fantastic part of the track, and there we go with 15. And look at that now from the uh, 66 to uh, 63. Sorry to have moved up through there. The man in the blue, Ashley Weller, and exactly as Spider's talking about, I went and said hi to Ashley. Been a number of years. I've watched him mature and grow through racing. He is not a 125 pilot. 104 kgs. Uh, politely, folks, that is not 125cc racing. And I say not for the politest of reasons. Drop 30 kgs. And hell yes, you're under the chance. You've got to be a jockey to be on a 125 because they are a lightweight bike. You need to be a lightweight rider. They've got no pet. Oh, there we go. Rob Whittle, I think. Rob Whittle gone. There he is. Uh, down the uh, Fulton Hogan uh, race pave. So I think that is uh, uh, Rob Whittle. That's three DNFs in a row. Spider will give us a nod. I'm pretty sure of it. It was been a, a miraculous performance with only two laps to go. If he could have stayed there. So sad bad luck indeed as the number 74 fades out of the picture. He will be gutted, but at least he's making this bike last longer, but it's not quite lasted long enough. As Spider will be about to catch up as we catch uh, young uh, Jesse up here. So uh, we might be able to get the update of that story that he's asked for. Change the position that. in the 125 club. Class. Change of position. It is now, I think it's Daniel Harris has gone through there in the first place on the red bike. You already with Rogan Chandler slipping down there in the second. They're coming up towards the dipper. I mean, there's a massive race out there for the Pro Twins in the front and also.
also a massive, massive race for the uh, one, two, fives. The bike there in third oh. place goes in on third. Well, Mark, that was an outstanding pass, wasn't it? Just about the pass of the weekend there, Richie. Oh, fantastic to watch. And look at that. All four of them. Now, we're talking about within when you come down to the margins here at the moment. So we've got uh, Daniel, Rogan, uh, Ashley, and uh, Chris in here. We've got now uh, three Chris's. Chris White, Chris Kane, and Chris Wallinger. So we can't go wrong. We'll get the right one in there. Pretty sure we've got the Chris Kane uh, battle going on there with the 66. So let's look out for 66 to go. And uh, keen to look out for through there. Uh, Chris to uh, look out. Uh, and Rob, of course, dropping off the race pace. Uh, Spider. All right, we've been joined by one of the Strouds here, young Jesse here, still in his leathers. He's about three foot six tall, and uh, just asked him what happened to Dad, and he says it's the bike started cutting out. So uh, I was going to put the microphone on young Jesse, but he's no, he doesn't want to talk on the microphone. But uh, what a great young lad, and uh, awesome to have him here racing. He was, uh, could just about couldn't even touch the ground when he got on the bike out there, but certainly enjoying his racing. And thanks for coming to give us the update. Looking out onto the start finish straight, I think uh, we're looking at the two man about glass boxes still. Nothing in it. We saw two eighty-three thousands. It's now one thirty-two thousands between them. Bailey Barrington doing a one thirty-nine two. Dennis Shard at a one thirty-nine three. So nothing in on the track. They disappear off the end. In fact, I couldn't even see two bikes going around that corner. It is Bailey Perriton has gone into the lead once again. The white flag is out. This is the final lap of the Pro Twin race. Here comes Dennis Charlotte, trying up on the inside, going towards the Icon corner. It's all about the breaking jewel into the hairpin. Bailey breaks loose a little bit and gets maybe six to eight lengths of uh, bike lengths there. In fact, Bailey was a little bit late later on the braking there. Dennis still hasn't gonna, is never going to give up uh, as long as this man's racing a motorcycle. So plenty of action there in the Pro Twin class. Action 2 with the 125s coming out the dipper as well with the red bike out there in the front with Rogan Chandler. He's had a good weekend. He wants a New Zealand Grand Prix, but right now he's sitting in second place on the final lap of the race. Well, in fact, and we've got to watch out here, Spider, because all of a sudden we've got different names showing up with different numbers, which has been called out. So keen to uh, link our race with our uh, update at the moment because it should be the 15 to go. Now, look at that. 66 is the bike number that shows is going past, but the results each time uh, don't even show 66 in that group. So uh, uh, we've got uh, something to uh, fit it in there that's just not even right. 66 is before 15 and before 21 and not before the 63. So I've been looking at that for the last couple of laps, just taking it. Then we've got the 66 of Chris Kane, but he's not showing up with the credit of the results. More importantly, let's go to the front. That's Smash Palace 1 deck 5. This is now our uh, Dan Allsby Motorcycle Training Pro Twin 650 lineup as we wait for the cheetah flag. Look at it for another battle. It's all on at the moment. Charlotte got back in the front. Charlotte got the but it is Bailey no. Perrett back in the front. Bailey's back no. in the front. Right now. Of a second, Dennis Charlotte, three thousandths of a second. That's all about slipstreaming. So we saw them over the hip in there. I thought Bailey Perrett might have it, but uh, indeed Dennis got back in front and a massive move there by Bailey Perrett and both on matching bikes coming out of the dipper into the sweeper. He went up on the inside. They come along the start finish line and three thousandths of a second between first and second for the Pro Twins New Zealand Grand Prix. I don't know whether they'll know who, who's won there. It was that's, a, that's only half a tire width really. Benjamin Rose Rose. Ben Rosendale going through there in third place. Carl Messeter takes fourth. Ryan Bradshaw, and we're looking out for Dean Bentley on the uh, Zany Zeus TSS office, red office uh, relocations, uh, SV650 Pro Twin. All eyes are on the 125s coming out of the dipper, and Rogan Chandler on the 15 machine is leading the New Zealand Grand Prix coming out of the dipper. Is this going to be the same as the Pro Twins, where it's all about the slipstreaming to the start finish straight? All about the slipstream number 15, the, uh, the uh, teenager from the Hutt Valley there. He has got it by about half a point lead over 66 and then we go 21. So that was Chris Kane going through there and Daniel Harris in third place. That's how I saw it. Maybe it's a little bit different on the screen there. I don't know what's going on there, but I, that's how I saw it with my own eyes. I haven't had a beer today, so I should be able to see it all right, but uh, certainly that was the problem there for